Hey guys, Jared here with a Gamervation video. As we found out earlier today, Nintendo are going to be announcing a brand new character for Super Smash Bros. tomorrow, which is insane because this came out of absolutely nowhere and people are having their predictions come out of the absolute wazoo right now. So I thought I'd throw my hat into the mix and give you three characters who I realistically think we could see being announced tomorrow. My first guess is Monster Hunter. Now I personally have never dabbled in the Monster Hunter series. I'm not too confident on all the characters, I don't know any of the weapons, I don't know any of the monsters, but looking at the history of all of this, we and Monster Hunter and everything and since Nintendo are the ones calling the shots of who the new character is going to be and not actually Sakurai himself, it seems quite likely we could see a Monster Hunter rep in the game. We've got two brand new Monster Hunter games coming to the Nintendo Switch very soon. We've got Rathalos as a boss in Smash Bros Ultimate and we had a, a very recent uh, Nintendo Mini Direct where the biggest announcements were Monster Hunter. Now look at this from a Nintendo business standpoint. Surely they had the Direct that was pretty much mainly sort of circled around Monster Hunter and now this uh, character announcement is going to be coming up next. It seems quite nicely linked up to each other though. Now, regardless of the whole marketing standpoint of all of this, we can obviously see as well that Monster Hunter has a whole ton of weapons and has, it has lots of potential to have different character skins and everything in it, similar to how we've seen Hero portrayed in Smash Bros. Now, all the weapons is gonna have is gonna mean there's gonna be such a huge variety of like moves and attacks and all that type of stuff, similar to how we've seen Byleth uh, turn out and. To be honest, there, there's just so much that is pointing towards Monster Hunter uh, being the tomorrow's announcement, and it, I yeah, wouldn't be remotely surprised at all. My second character prediction is Travis Touchdown from No More Heroes. Now, out of all three of my character predictions, this one I've probably got the least confidence in, just because, I don't know, we've only recently heard of some little things pop up now, and everyone's starting to really think about it, so, I don't know, it could either be a massive coincidence, or, I'm not really sure, but, because everyone's talking about it now, and a few little things are cropping up here and there, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw this character being announced tomorrow. Obviously, as we all know, the director who has been very, very vocal about him wanting to see Travis Touchdown in the game and um, was questioned about whether or not they're gonna, uh, Travis will be in Smash Bros. His response to this question was no comment, which is obviously very out of character of uh, of the director to say that because you know he's been wanting him for what I think it's been about 11 years he's been saying how much he wants him so for him to suddenly be very quiet about this matter is obviously making a few people raise their eyebrows and think hmm maybe he is actually going to be a character and he could be predicted tomorrow and of course on the marketing standpoint from why Nintendo would want to see this character in is because uh, there's going to be a, a new No More Heroes game com coming out on the Switch so obviously they're going to want to push that game and push sales and all that good stuff. So in both areas it kind of like links up and I, I've never played a No More Heroes game so I'm not too sure. I'm a little bit worried because I know he has a sort of a sort of a laser sword kind of thing. I'm not really too sure what it is. I'm sure I'm gonna get grilled by some people in the comment section and I do apologize for that. I'm a little bit worried so I, ho I just hope he doesn't fall into the category of being a boring sword fighter that we've seen quite a few times before. But like I said, if I had to, if I had to predict it, I I really wouldn't be surprised if Travis Touchdown made an appearance in tomorrow's announcement. And the third and final character that I am predicting that we could potentially see tomorrow is Rillaboom. Now, obviously, it could be any Pokemon. I'm I'm just saying that now. If it's not Rillaboom and it's another Pokemon, I'm still going to claim this as a victory. Um, but 
I really think we're going to get a Pokemon. And I don't think Sakurai or Nintendo are going to want to leave it any later. Because obviously, as the characters get announced and as the potential characters obviously start to narrow down to like one, like five left, four left, three left, two left, people's expectations are going to be really, really high. And I know a lot of people will be very disappointed is if like, say like the last character to be announced was a Pokemon. How gutted and disappointed would people be? So I really think they're gonna want us to snip this in the bud and really just, just announce it as soon as they can. You know, Smash Bros has featured Pokemon from quite a lot of generations. They've had, we've had Greninja, we've had Lucario, we've got obviously the Pokemon trainer. Um, we, we've got lots and lots of Pokemon from the generations and so I don't see why we're not going to get one from the most recent gen. And considering how well Sword and Shield have done and the fact we haven't actually got a, a, gra a final grass evolution in Smash Bros yet, it's just all pointing towards that that's going to be the case. We're going to get you know, potentially Rillaboom. Um, obviously, as well, we've got the new Pokemon DLC coming out. Um, so, it, 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 it just makes such perfect sense for Nintendo to, to do this, it, for, for both Nintendo and Sakurai, because it, it makes sense for Super Smash Bros.'s history of Pokemon, and it makes sense from a marketing standpoint to really push this new DLC pack that's, uh, that they're releasing very soon, or next month, in fact. Um, yeah, so I could... 100% see and also we keep getting like Fire Emblem characters we've had Byleth who's like just been released for Free Houses which Free Houses didn't sell as well as Pokemon Sword and Shield it still did very very well but not as well as Sword and Shield so to be honest I I don't I think if we don't get Rillaboom or a Pokemon tomorrow I think it's we're gonna get it later you know I, I don't think it's a question of if we're gonna get it I think it's gonna be when we're gonna get it so there's my three predictions Rillaboom, Travis Touchdown or a Monster Hunter rep what do you guys think do you guys agree with any of my predictions or do you disagree be sure to let me know in the comment section below be sure to subscribe for all things Nintendo